the art is a much stronger way of teaching, raising of awareness. Because you see them, you, we are real. You are looking at someone that's staying there. That is the art. We bring our art. And you see their dance, and you see their music, you hear them sing. Yeah, this is a totally different dynamic. This is a different way of teaching. Because this is the first, the first project of this kind. To use the art um, to work together with science. That we have a, a grave situation occurring worldwide, and it's particularly acute in the in the Pacific, and that has to do with with sea level rise, which is primarily due to, to global warming. There are two reasons for sea level rise: thermal expansion. What's the other? Polar ice cap melting. Yeah, and and, and 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 all the the meltwater coming in off. That's exactly right. When it comes to climate change, it's a lifestyle choice we make. We've chosen to prioritize comfort and convenience over sustainability. On the other hand, folks who live in the Pacific Islands who really have nothing to do with climate change, really haven't benefited from the energy intensive lifestyle, are the ones that are going to face really the bad consequences. And tomorrow you can drive there if something's happening here. You can escape. For us, you can't escape. You have the ocean to go to. So I think if you're more aware and appreciate that, that other people don't have the luxury as you have in land, I think people will start thinking twice. It's not just land. It's physical history. It's tradition. It's sense of place. It's a lot of these things that are really important to culture, right? And more importantly, they're losing their homes. But this is urgent. We need to do something about it now. And in ethic, you need to, to change the culture. You need to change the cultural thinking. The, and I think as long as American people realize that they have the power to actually take care of the environment, while you're taking care of that and helping yourself, you are outreaching to 9,000 miles away. We were not, we were not afraid. Because we've, we've, we've got everything to live for and to die for. We live a very sustainable life. Not only sustainable in a way of life, in a way of living. So coming here and sharing that with the American people is quite amazing. Our parents um, raised us with principle of life, to respect, to love, to share, to care, to be kind. The point is that we want to have a chance. We want to have a chance to live. And we want to have a chance for a generation to come. That's the priority. That's the goal. Keep the message. Keep the momentum. Keep the spirit. What's more important, we keep the spirit going.